Hey Equestrian Gamers, Coolie here and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how I get tokens, so how I make money on Wild Horse Islands. There are many, many, many different ways that you can make money. Just lots of different ways. So the most common way is to do quests on any other island that has a quest NPC. A lot of people do that to make money. They also sell resources, so your ores, stone, wood, etc., etc. Even with farming, so if you grow berries and all these apple trees and stuff like that, then they sell off the, that produce as well. So there's definitely a lot of different ways to do it. But today I'm going to show you my favorite way to make money. So I am currently on Wisteria. So Wisteria is my favorite runaround horse because she has a lot of stamina and she's quite speedy. So I ride her around quite a lot and she is perfect for this. So I usually have a lot more money. I did spend, oh gosh, I think it was 800,000 on the last giveaway. So I've got a lot of catching up to do to get back to 1 million. So I thought this is the perfect time to do this video because I'm grinding for more tokens. Now, one way that I make money without even really thinking about it is my achievements. So everyone has achievements and when you get a new achievement, you actually get a lot of experience and some money for doing it. So these ones are quite, quite simple. I'm actually pretty close to the 500 foals and the races, so I'll probably do that today. I normally don't keep a close eye on this because you just get it naturally playing the game, but today I think I will focus on those two because we're quite close. So the foals will give me 3,750 and the races will give me 250. Like, look at this. If you're after experience, oh my gosh. Growing 3,000 crops at your farm will give you 2,250 experience points. That's a lot. And then reaching 50,000 bond with your horses will give you 25 grand, which is actually not too bad. I think I'm, I'm only about halfway for that one. But these are the sort of things where you will get money for just playing the game and doing what you do. But we will get to those ones. The way that I make money is by catching wild horses and selling them. As simple as that. So as you can see, so, so far I've captured just over 15,000 horses. Definitely my favorite, favorite, favorite way to do it. So what I'm going to do today, I don't know how much space I have. Oh, I've got a bit of space. So I've got 355 out of 386. So I I've got enough space to be able to do this. So what I do is I run around and capture wild horses until my inventory is completely full and then I will sell them off. So I'm going to run around, catch all the horses I can find and then I will come back and we'll see how much money I make. All right, here we go. Now, beforehand, I did make sure that I locked um, all the horses, no, nope, not buy, we need to sell. That I didn't want to accidentally sell, so I did lock them all. But there are a few horses here I'm actually going to hold on to. So, this is how all the horses that I just caught. So it took me, what's that, 17 minutes to capture these horses while also collecting oars to make more lassoes. So a few interesting horses I caught was this uh, Arabian here. Oh, what I'll need to do, actually, let me back out. And we'll do, the, I want to lock the ones that I want to keep. So I caught this Bay Arabian. So uh, that was on Blizzard Island right here. So I'm going to lock that one. I got a Black Clydesdale on, what is it, Forest. So I'm going to keep him. I got a Frisian with a fading black coat that was also on forest. So super duper lucky finds. I usually don't get this lucky. And I also got the Peacock Appaloosa on Mountain Island. So I'm definitely holding on to that one as well. 
So let's sell the horses I have left, which isn't a lot because I got quite a lot of horses in my inventory at the moment. So the more space you have in your inventory, the more horses you can collect and sell at once. But it doesn't really matter because even if you only have like 10 spaces, you just capture 10 horses, sell them and then go capture some more. All right, so for 34 horses, I get $7,979. So nearly 8,000 tokens for, oh, how many minutes was it? For about 15 minutes work. So it's not bad at all. So I'll sell those horses there. So that is definitely my go-to to making money. It's very quick very very easy and you do make decent money doing it as i mentioned before you can definitely do other things to make money you can sell your ores you can sell all your food i'd hold on to the favorite food for your animals though and some food for crafting though so always keep that in mind you can do quests and stuff like that you can do fishing and sell the fish there's so many different ways but this is definitely my absolute favorite way but what I want to do now, I actually want to get a, two of those achievements done. So I'm going to start by doing the races. I'm going to do a few races um, and collect the money from that. And then we'll go breed some horses. Alrighty, I have one more race to complete and then I'll get some money from achievements. I am on still on Blizzard Island and I quite like this race. So the Slippery Pond. I really like this race. It's very, very short, so it's very quick to complete. But you also slide around a bit, which I think is fun. But yeah, let's complete this race and get some more money. There we go. So 250 coins, 100 races completed. So the next one for the achievements for racing is 250 and that's 750. You can tell that I definitely don't do many races. Like um, even I've been slack with quest points as well. But for the foals, crop stuff like that, I've definitely been doing a lot more. But we're so close to 500 foals, which is the just over three thousand dollars so let's go do that all right heading to mainland to the falling center am i the only one that still gets confused because the mainland has been flipped upside down i still get confused by that <laughs> it's probably going to take me ages to get used to that because yeah it's upside down now but anywho that's not the point of this video <laughs> just a side note here we go. All right, let's head to the breeding center. I already forgot. How many foals do I need? Three? Four? I have to check again. already forgot. All righty. Hello. Now, there are some specific horses I want to try to breed. So let me sort that out and then we'll get to breeding. All right, so I still have the majority of the new Appaloosas that I want to transfer their coat onto Frisians. So let's work on that today. So I do have this guy here and we're going to pop with any of these Frisians. If I actually put it to breed and don't lock it up top, makes it a bit easier to see all of them. So depending on what horse I use, so if I use a white Frisian, there is an 8.94% chance of being a black leopard. So 894, let's try with a black Frisian. Yes, um, I do usually try to pick the best horse to breed with. So 875, does it help? 
812. All right, let's pop it with just, let's just go with this one. Okay, fingers crossed we get a black leopard Frisian. No, but we did get another black leopard Appaloosa that I can use for breeding, which is perfectly fine. I'm going to grab, do I actually have any? I do. I'm going to grab a growth potion, grow this foal up immediately, like so. And when you do that, they automatically get like the hundred uh, bond. So you don't need to feed them or anything like that. So I will use him in the next breeding to try again. Okay, waited three minutes. Try again. Yes, perfect. Oh my gosh, today is such a good day. There we go. So a Frisian with the leopard coat. Perfect. So I'll definitely add this one to my collection. Beautiful. All right, let's figure out what our next foal will be. So the next foal will give us the achievement. Alrighty, let's try the last one. So for this one, I'm going with the Red Roan Appaloosa and a Liver Chestnut Frisian. Hopefully getting, no, Peacock. Sorry, not Red Roan, Peacock. So hopefully getting a Peacock Frisian. And there's the achievement. Breed 500 foals at the breeding center. And we got a uh, Buckskin Appaloosa. So that does happen. There's always a chance of getting a common coat. Still very, very cute though. So yeah, that's it. So that's my favorite way of making tokens. Definitely let me know down in the comments below what your favorite way is to make tokens on Wild Horse Islands.